Howdy do, fellow kids! It is the professional Hadilweed here, and welcome back to another video. And today, I'm doing a first ride on the 2020 Yamaha R6. So I have ridden pretty much every R series lineup that is here in the United States except for the R6, believe it that or not. I've ridden the R3 and the R1, so now I'm just, you know, I'm gonna ride the metal child. And for 2020, not much has changed, but you do get this new, like, spooky Halloween themed color going on. But it actually is a pretty cool color scheme. It looks like it's just doing... 100 miles an hour just sitting here but i am pretty interested to see how this compares to um the r1 and well obviously it's nowhere close to an r3 but and just you know be able to compare all of them all right so with all that out of the way let's hop on this huff hang and let's get her uh, cranked up let's adjust my mirrors so you can see who's losing. All right. Seems to be good to me. Let's get to it. All right, so right off the bat, this is <laughs> extremely aggressive, the seating position. Like, Like, it almost feels more aggressive than the R1. It, yeah, this is a little insane, but I guess you could, like, for long hauls, if you really felt like it, just prop your arm up on the tank for some a little extra support. And it's a little bit more comfortable that way. And I'll say, just sitting here, it's not particularly comfortable. I mean, of course, you're not getting one of these and expecting it to have the ride quality of a Harley, but it's not great. And my balls hurt. And that was like the world's smallest pull. <laughs> but I also do have to be careful because since cops are allowed to like give tickets now they've been out everywhere and i got pulled over uh, two days ago on my z125 because my license plate was displayed funny i mean you could still see it but i guess it was just displayed funny i didn't get a ticket though but they're really starting to crack down holy crap this wind is somewhat brutal but if you crouch down like you're doing 200 miles an hour it can't grab you quite as bad so that's what i'm gonna do i'm like in the full full touch position doing 55 and i feel like a dumbass i'm just trying not to make an involuntary lane change because of the damn wind come on there we go all right so as far as specs go this has a 599cc inline four that cranks out 117 horsepower, which isn't too bad. But like the power band is actually manageable. It actually like, very slowly cuts into the power band unlike the r1 where you give a twitch of the throttle and well you're 
you're doing a buck 40. This guy better let me the hell over. That's what I thought. <laughs> and like below 6,000 RPM, it feels like it could just be like a 300, 400 or some of that nature. But then once it gets above that, you can like just crack it and take off at a moment's notice. Come on, little EcoBoost, there you go. I do not like how windy it is. All right, so interstate riding, this thing's really happy on the interstate. I'll say that. I mean, why wouldn't it? But one thing is that for whatever reason, you feel so cool riding this. You feel like one of the cool kids. Well, because you are. You are one of the cool kids. Alright, am I going to brake check anyone? Let's see how these brakes work. Oh, they work. <laughs> but I sure do wish this thing was louder. So, you know how I said that it behaves like somewhat of a normal civilized bike if you're below 6,000 RPMs? And that, well, that's true, but... Does that mean you should get one as like a first bike or something like that? I mean, hey, I'm not gonna stop you. It's not the best idea, but it's not the worst. It certainly isn't an R1 for a first bike, but it's yeah, and not ideal, I'll say that much. You know I had to let them know I was here, right? All right, so what are my thoughts of this here R6? I quite like it, but I would say that if you were to get one of these, you are more likely to use it to its full potential, unlike you would an R1. Because <laughs> anyone that really has a 1000cc bike doesn't always use it to its full potential, like 100% of the time. But you could actually use all 599ccs that this has to offer. I mean, I was just about to say that it's not crazy, but it is crazy. <laughs> but that is where I'm gonna start wrapping up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure you show some support by dropping a like. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. And most importantly, be sure you hit that booty. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.